When you give a gift, you should, when you have a gift, I should say, you should use it for good. And as our next guest will tell you, they dance on a mission. And joining me from Leap for Lives is founder and director, Reness Nasca, and secretary, Amy Falk. Thank you both so much for joining me. Thank, Thank you, you for having <laughs> us. Pleasure to see you. Such a cool thing that you guys do, using this gift of dance that you have uh, for really great reasons. So Reness, starting with you, you started this organization. How long ago and why? I started it way back in 2009, and a lot of it was just for fun, mm -hmm. um, some exercise to use this passion that I had for dance, yeah. you know, post-school. And um, I also had a lot of rescue dogs, and I thought, you know, five is too many. <laughs> so how can we take what we're doing and, and um, use it to have a positive impact on the community and engage something else I love, which was animals. animals. So would you say it's that love of animals that really made you f sort of focus the organization around helping animal rescues? I would say it definitely began there. Okay. Yeah. And let's talk about the impact that you've had because you've been around for a while now obviously. What's the real impact that you've had on these animals in, in the community? So we've been uh, performing these shows since 2013. That mm -hmm. was actually our first Leaps for Lives showcase. And since then, we've raised thousands of dollars for local animal rescues, and we've also made other impacts in the community as well. Wow, um, and obviously, you know, people love these dance shows. It's a great way to sort of energize people around giving back to these great causes. So when someone goes to a show, a dance showcase, what can they expect to see there? They can expect to see all sorts of dance, like partner mm -hmm. dance, yeah. contemporary dance, yeah. hip hop dance. We have a ballroom. bunch of ball, yeah. ballroom. So a lot of just different genres of dance are going to be presented mm -hmm. at the Fantastic. Show. And how many dancers do you have? I see well, a picture of a few of them here, but how many are part of the company? We've got uh, a, ch a children's team and a team of adults, and so oh. we've got three kids, and the rest of us is 15, mm -hmm. 15 adult dancers. Yeah. How sweet is that? Well, in addition to giving back to the animals, um, you also give back to something called histiocytosis. Did I say that properly? That's correct. And what was the, what was the reason that you wanted to give back to that type of research and that type of uh, awareness? Um, I had a baby back in 2016, mm -hmm. and he was born with a form of pediatric cancer mm -hmm. called Langerhans cell histiocytosis. Mm -hmm. And so he did a year of chemotherapy, which began about four weeks old. And in honor of his, his journey fighting pediatric cancer, I decided to take this to the dance company and ask them if we could help fund research that physicians are doing into my son's illness mm -hmm. with this organization we already had kind of churning. Yeah, well what a powerful way to do it. You might as well take that momentum that you have, the energy behind it, and also give back uh, to your, is that your son there on the screen? That's mm -hmm. Owen, yeah, that's him his first day of chemo there, and that's him, a, well, Friday, oh, the other one there. What a beautiful boy, <laughs> congratulations. He's excellent, he's the best. And he's lucky to have you. Oh. Um, how do you see the organization growing? Uh, throughout the years. This one can go to either one. So, I mean, we hope to, next year we hope to host two shows instead of one. Um, this is gonna be our sixth showcase, and so we feel like the, <coughs> the appropriate way to grow is to host another one. Mm -hmm. um, and we hope to focus some of our energy, um, you know, the, doing one show a year, we try to focus on animal rescues as well as um, the histiocytosis yeah. side of it. And so we hope to focus the show separately so that one show can be focused on histiocytosis and the next show can be focused on animal rescue so that we can combine those two passions and we can you know work for both of them mm -hmm. um, and we hope to you know grow the program we're hoping to find a permanent space for us to live yes. and grow the program there and um, get out in the community a little bit more. Well, I can just see it getting bigger and bigger yeah. and bigger. I'm gonna let them know in a second when the show is, how they can attend, uh, but before I wrap, let's talk about how people can join. Is it, do you have to be a, a good dancer? Do you have to have done it for years? <laughs> what, what do you have to do to join? You have to have a passion mm -hmm. to try. Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah, we have dancers who have a lot of experience and some dancers, they're their first time okay. stepping on a dance floor. Yeah, a lot of our dancers, yeah, they, I mean, we've had dancers who have been with the, the company for eight, nine years, yeah. and so a lot of them started out with less experience. experience and grew through that time that they've been with us, Amazing. and so we don't have any requirements for how much experience you've had. Very good, maybe I'll join. Not really, yes. I'm a terrible dancer. Thank you guys so much for coming here today. Nice to see Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the Leaps for Lives Dance Showcase is this Saturday from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Demeester Outdoor Performance Center at Reed Park. Tickets can be purchased at leapsforlives.org.